trying my best. I'm being challenged. 2023 hasn't started so well for me. And um, it's like you get into these situations where you start looking it up like, give me a break. Just give me a break already. When is it gonna go back to how it was? Why can't it get back to this? When are things gonna be normal again? But maybe striving for this normality of life is the wrong way to look at it. Maybe my normal doesn't exist anymore. Maybe I'm gonna have to go through these hurdles, these, these, these tough destinations, because at the end of it is greatness. Greater than what I've been dealing with. More success than what I've seen bigger accomplishments to come but i started out and i and i and i look above and i'm like enough because i'm, I'm just trying to get it all together you know I, I put out the blog not so many days ago letting you know a lot that's been going on me trying to get my mind right in a more physical a uh, uh, healthier manner you know going on a fast starting a new diet which was supposed to be this next blog, but how do I not give you an update or more hurdles that's, go that's, going, that, that's going on with me? I, I go through the whole five day fast. The accomplishment, the feeling was great. Last night I put out the blog, went out to eat. It was amazing. Went to see Creed. It, it was I, right. I think they should end the Rocky series there. I think they're like, they're just overly milking it. Now I can tell they're trying to do something with his daughter, which could be cool because I like when they mix in with the kids and the girls. But the point is, I, I, I couldn't sleep last night. I have these hiccups that are just becoming unbearable. I'm trying to make my own diagno diagnostics of it. <laughs> diagnosis, whatever, however you say it. Looking into it, but it, it, I woke up today and I'm like, yo, my chest is hurting. Like My chest right here is like really starting to cave in. Like every time... I grab a hiccup and um, so I go to the walk-in uh, uh, emergency, like the WebMD kind of thing, um, just for like something, like maybe it's like acid reflux. Hey, I've been drinking nothing but water for five days and you, you know, can you, uh, you know, this has been going on, here's the fast I've been on and not enough food and what's going on with my body, okay, cool, so we're gonna do a chest scan, check you out, an x-ray, okay, cool x-ray no problem and we're gonna give you an ekg where they put, put all the the stickies around your chest your stomach a few a few on your legs to test your um your, your heart rate and things of that nature and um my ekg comes back so abnormal and let me just give a bro you catch more bees with honey than vinegar like this doctor that i understand sometimes like i had a russian doctor many years ago that like made something sound way worse than it was just off her ac accent and then this doctor today you know this asian doctor who is like didn't really speak so much well english but the way he couldn't speak the english well makes things just sound way more harsh y'all need to work on that a little bit because i'm sitting there he's like hey listen comes back in the room my results talking about i'm gonna call an ambulance for you you have to go to the emergency room right now. You're a borderline. Your EKG levels is borderline to, uh, uh, about to have a heart have a heart attack. It's actually reading that you went through, or or going through, or about to step into having a mini heart attack. I'm looking at him like almost ignorant because I don't feel none of that. I'm not sweating. I'm not no fevers, no nothing. I'm still feeling strong. I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling amazing. First day of my new diet. My new cleanse, the um, the fast is completed. I'm feeling good. What are you talking about? I'm on the clock. I got to go back. You will not be going back to work. Do I have to call your job right now and let them know that you are at risk, that you might not even make the walk back over to your job without possibly collapsing on the floor? I'm like, and I'm just giving y'all the real. I know some people might be like, get nah, the channel's just going somewhere else and I need to I'm not even planning it. This is it. This channel is going to get all the real now. We're going to talk about the blogs. We're going to talk about the, the Beasleys, the Smacks, the, the King of the Dots and the ARPs. And we're going to talk about the Tay Rock and the Big Ks and the Murder Mooks. And we're going to get into all these things. But y'all going to get the real on this channel from now on. 
anything that I'm going through, I'm gonna have to start really expressing so I could really, so y'all could feel that I'm human like y'all, that I go through it like y'all, that I feel pain like y'all, success, like, like I feel it all. And I want y'all to understand that I'm just human just like y'all. I always thought it was dope with, with, the, with, with me making a channel because you get the insight of, of people being a person. A lot of times we just go on stage and we're just this character, this character gyms. But I give y'all the real, this is the Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Who goes through things that maybe you went through or, or family members went through or, or, or trials and tribulations, the understanding that I, I, I've been up a lot of times in my life, but I've been down as well. And I just want to give y'all, I just want to make my channel this now. Like, hey, I'm gonna talk about the good times too, the bad times, but I, I, this is not all gonna be battle rap no more. And if that's something you're not into, if you're not into fitness, if you're not into life, if you're not into talking about relationships, trials and tribulations or success stories or hardships or, or good times or good moments, this channel is no longer gonna be for you. Cause this channel is no longer gonna be just about battle rap. My, my, my mind, my life is just so beyond battle rap these days. This channel wouldn't survive if I just forced myself to feel like I only have to speak of battle rap. So I just want to give you a, 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 a disclosure that this channel will be so much about my real life mixed with battle rap. And if that's something y'all here for, I appreciate you sticking around because I feel like the channel is going to be even greater. I, I kind of lost my, kind of all over my thoughts right now, but I want to get back into what happened. I had to get rushed to the emergency room. As soon as I got there, right away because anybody knows once your heart rate is a certain way and you you say you have chest issues they see you right away went in took another ekg i'm hoping they took it wrong in the in the in the webmd but it wasn't it's still very abnormal so i did that i did i did another ekg i had to give a bunch of blood did another um i did a um another x-ray and it just so happened the the cardio the cardiologist if i'm saying it right who deals with your heart he's in the building so I'm, I'm waiting for him to see me so i'm waiting on blood work the ekg so the ekg comes back abnormal the x-ray comes back good the blood work comes back good the cardiologist sees me he says as long as if you're only feeling the hiccup pain in your chest as you hiccup but you're breathing fine and you're fever and all then you're good so that was good news is everything was good news um, I was in there for about six hours, uh, very stressed out, you know, salute to, you know, the, your family, man. People was really there for you. My brother Zed, man, salute to you on my phone. You know, he was, um, he was, uh, his heart was with me the whole time. You know what I'm saying? It was real scary. You know, my dad left work, my mom, my sister, you know, everyone came, you know, that meant a lot to me. You know what I mean? Appreciate those people who were there for you, for real. That um, you know, but mom dukes. I'm very close to my mom, so like seeing my mom there kind of make, make like I'm chilling the whole time. So you see your mom worried. It's like oh, I can't even look at. Her. You start going into like your, your 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 younger kid days. I don't know if y'all feel what I mean, but like that vo that person just makes you feel vulnerable and like. I was glad my mama was there though, but um, everything turned out fine. You know, um, they did say that I need to start. Listen, before before this blog gets any further, you need to see your primary care doctor. You have to get physicals. Today I got a physical first time in years. Thank God it came back okay. Today I'm realizing that I have to now see a gastro, uh, a gastro doctor because I still have this issue. And that was near from then. They're like, oh, you know, they take this. The, they they have me in saline, a muscle relaxer. It's some pills, but I still have the hiccups and it's driving me insane. It really is. It it hurts. It's, it's regurgitating. It's giving me um acid reflux. So I'm gonna see a um a gastro doctor tomorrow I'm, I'm asking them is it because of the water is it because of too much water or because of this they said oh it could be a blockage because that's what i was scared for at first before like i said i'm all over they were saying worst case scenario what if we're waiting for your blower to come back you might have a blood clot that's blocking you from breathing properly thank god it wasn't that but i i basically i basically um disrupted my diaphragm of breathing my muscles inside of my body as like um they're not agreeing with me because of maybe the lack of food, maybe things of that nature. They really wasn't giving me a straight answer on that. He honestly ended up saying, it's just a terrible case of hiccups. I've never seen it like that. But bro, I've seen Grey's Anatomy, mother, do that to go under the knife before because of them hiccups. So I'm like, what's going on? Like, 
if, if I had to have these hiccups tomorrow, what do I do? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, come back here if your chest hurts. So I think like maybe gastro should be the my answer. I'm giving suggestions to the doctors. I, I, I'm not happy about that, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, so what's going on? You know, oh, as far as my EKG goes, um, so they looked up my other EKGs from 2013 and 2015. I gave um, um, the, the green light for them to look at it. So this is what ends up happening. The reason why this turned out okay. You watch it right now. A normal person's EKG levels is here. M my normal EKG levels is here. So if you're normal, you're here, and you're at where I'm at, you are above normal risk for heart attack. But my normal where your risk is, is normal. So if I was above, so two times your normal, I'll be at risk. But because they didn't have that document or those paperwork to see in the first MD, or when I first went to the ER, they're just taking it as, oh my, oh my God, we don't know his normal, so this isn't normal. He might be having a, borderline a heart attack right now which wasn't the case thank god so just to update update you on that but yeah so again i'm open to suggestions anyone who could tell me about these hiccups they're driving me crazy y'all i have to go see another doctor tomorrow but i don't know what to do you know what i mean it's really like non-stop non-stop they're saying i can't really get too many workouts since so i see another cardio doctor and it's just a lot going on but you know what i want to end this in a positive note i'm alive i'm smiling i'm breathing i'm happy you know what I mean? Um, I, I was able to come back to work, get some overtime, going to get going going to the babies after this, and you know, it's gonna get better. And I, and I take from this just you gotta check on your health. You can't be running around crazy with, with whether you're partying, you you with girls, you're drinking, you're you're smoking, you're doing this, you're doing that. You have to keep up with your health. Where you where you're, you're eating? I'm going into keto diets, not even knowing if my body can handle it. Fasting, not a all silly things once you hit 30 years old it starts getting real so please man you have to go get checked out and make sure everything's all right thank god that i'm okay and nothing alarming as as far as just these hiccups which is which is pretty much blowing minds but <laughs> we're gonna see what's up tomorrow hopefully they're gone or i find another solution but um everyone out there the dms the messages as you see i've been trying to get at a lot of the comments just thank you everybody who's been just just reminding me that we're all humans because i remind i feel like i remind y'all about that a lot on here but i don't listen to it enough myself and having people specifically showing me the love they've been doing man it means so much to me so i'm not going to talk your ear off anymore just um thank you uh, i'll keep you updated but right now everything is all right I'm alive, I'm breathing, I'm smiling, I'm healthy. Besides these damn hiccups. But um, God has a plan for me. The universe, God, whatever you believe in. And nobody can take that from me. I'll talk to y'all soon.